Hey guys, what's up? It's Megan, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages of practicing online via the web or going to live yoga classes. Like, what are what are the the benefits and the disadvantages of um, those two options? And so, for one, uh, practicing online, um, you have you know, for one, the convenience of doing your practice anywhere at any time. So if you're somebody who's traveling on the road, um, you know, maybe you're a mom with kids and you just can't find the time to get to a studio. Uh, it's really convenient in that way. It's nice because you can just do the practice, put it in the sequence, you know, roll out your mat wherever you are. Uh, also, if you are one of those people who's a little bit more introverted, a little less um, comfortable in, in crowds and settings like that, then that would be another advantage to the online um, uh, practice. And so the disadvantages I would say is that you don't get corrections. So you don't get any, you don't have an instructor there um, correcting your misalignments. And I'd say that's a big disadvantage. Um, the other is that, uh, you know, it's, it's, you aren't getting the, the group energy of being in a studio setting, um, which also has its 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 benefits for sure. Um, and then the third disadvantage I would say um, is is also that you're limited on maybe finding the right style or teacher. You know, there's so much there's so much out there. I guess you might be saturated and overload with kind of um, options and not really know where to where to go or to choose. Um, then moving towards more of the live classroom setting, um, the advantage is that you know you're gonna get those hands-on adjustments and corrections. You have the instruction of the teacher there, so they can you know really guide you properly. Um, the other is practicing. You know, in a group environment, the energy can be very uplifting and encouraging and motivating. Um, you know, if you're not a super disciplined person, then that's another benefit of going to a class because you have the co competition of people in the room with you that makes you work a little bit harder than if you're just left to your own um, and then also I would say you know I had such a great community that I was a part of with with my um, my home base in Denver where I was where I um, came from and studied and taught for many years before coming down here and I really enjoyed that aspect was that I really felt like I had a community the disadvantages is you know you're limited on um, you know traveling to get there finding parking you know there are times you have to fit the time schedules into your schedule depending on what they're offering um, again if you're a more kind of introverted person being in large group settings you know for some people makes them very uncomfortable and I'd say it probably can be kind of more costly too you could probably get a little bit of a that's a kind of toss-up I would say but you know you might spend more going to a live class than you would doing some online courses um, depending upon how much you were purchasing or, or if you were doing free downloads and what have you um, so yeah so that's gonna cover just a little brief topic for today and stay tuned we'll have more to come have a beautiful day ciao